Our financial goals are like seeds that needs to be planted in the ground. But before we do that, we need to equip ourselves with skills to know how. For we cannot play the game if we don't know the rules. If so, how can we win? Bonds. A bond is a debt investment in which an investor loans money to an entity, corporate or governmental, which borrows the funds for a defined period of time at a fixed interest rate. Bonds are used by companies, municipalities, states and governments to finance a variety of projects and activities. Just as your home loan is also referred to as a bond, because you owe money to the bank over a fixed term, a bond is an investment in which you, the investor, lend money to either a company or a government entity for a defined period of time at a fixed interest rate. Interest on bonds is usually paid every six months, and the interest rate is normally determined by two main criteria, the credit quality of the entity that issues the bond and the bond's lifespan, which can extend to 30 years. Here is an example of one of the bonds issued by government through the Treasury. Name, R186. Date issued, 2105-1998. Interest rate, 10.5% per year. Interest payment dates, 21 June and 21 December. Date of maturity, 21 December 2025, 2026, and 2027. The major difference between bonds and shares is that shareholders own a part of the company, while a bondholder is simply owed money by the company or government entity. Shares have an indefinite lifespan, while bonds have a defined lifespan. Bonds that are used by financially sound governments or corporates can be a great source of income for retirees. Most bonds will track or even slightly outperform inflation with their income. And because bonds yield returns in a completely different way to shares, they represent a diversifying element in any portfolio. Bonds generally trade in very large denominations, generally a minimum of 1 million rand per transaction so they're not readily accessible as direct investments to private investors. Your best way to buy a bond would be through a unit trust or an exchange-traded fund. Note, too, that the interest generated by South African bonds is taxable.